Hello. This video will show you how to set up your request modes within GatherUp. First, I've selected my location. If I have multiple locations set up, or you can go directly to your business. In the left-hand nav bar, there is a button called Request. I'm going to open that up and go down to Request Modes. Now, request modes give you options on how you collect feedback and reviews. They are the customer-facing feedback request experience, and each mode provides a unique process that you can customize with your brand color and logo. First, I'm going to pick Ultimate Mode. Ultimate Mode provides the most amount of feedback and review data points, including that promoter score, surveys, first-party, and third-party reviews. To begin editing this request mode, I'm going to click Edit under Feedback Request. In all your request modes, you can edit the subject line, including webhooks, to personalize the request in the subject line. Ultimate Mode starts with the Net Promoter Score question. You can edit the paragraph above the NPS question here. And of course, you can also select the appropriate dropdown for your NPS question. So net promoter score is how likely is it that you recommend this location, our team, us, our restaurant, and so on. The rating a customer leaves here will determine if they are shown a positive landing page or a negative landing page, which we'll discuss later. There are reminder emails that you can set up. You can toggle these on or off, depending on if you want one reminder, two reminders, or no reminders. You can also select the number of days after the initial request goes out that you'd like to send the reminder. Next, I'm going to edit the feedback landing page. This is where you'll be able to add survey questions in ultimate mode. You can add up to a four additional survey questions at any time. You can edit these, and you're going to give them a value of poor or excellent. And then in this case, my report keyword will be customer service, so that I know uh, the answer to this one is regarding customer service. By default, there is a general, how did you feel about your experience with us question at the bottom. This can be editable as well. And the response a customer puts here will be your first party review or direct feedback to your business. Once I have that all set up, now I'm going to edit my positive landing page. So the positive landing page is where a customer who leaves a certain NPS score is directed, for instance, seven or above. You can determine that rating threshold in your feedback settings. Thank the customer here for their rating or the customize the message and then direct them to additional sites to leave an online or third party review. I would say, thank you. We appreciate your feedback. Please leave us an online review. And on my online review sites are chosen here. There are additional emails that can be sent out to remind a customer. If they don't go through that and click one of those links, you can send a reminder to say, hey, you know, we still want to get that positive review from you. Um, please click one of the links below. Now, one of the benefits of uh, ultimate mode is that you do have the positive and negative landing page, so you can customize that message based on the customer's experience. So here I'm going to look at the negative landing page. And the customer would have gotten here if they left you a lower net promoter score question, uh, rating. You might want to ask for more feedback to make sure you can rectify or resolve the situation or do your best to reach out and say someone will be reaching out to you shortly. Make sure you do reach out though if you say you're going to, of course. Here the direct leave direct feedback button brings the customer back through a first party or direct feedback loop. And this is meant to uh, address those uh, customers' concerns if they aren't happy. Make sure to leave this toggle on to show online review links if you did it also in the positive. You must have both of them on in the same instance to appease Google's terms of service, but also the FT FTC's newest guidelines. Make sure to go in and edit the negative feedback page the submission confirmation page, 
and the negative email apology page as well to show your appreciation that the customer took time to leave you a review and alerted you to an issue that they had. Now we're gonna look at review mode. Remo review mode is similar, but there are a few differences from ultimate mode. Once again, you'll start with the feedback request, asking for an NPS rating, which will again create a positive or negative landing page. The same reminders exist in review mode as they did in ultimate mode. However, the main difference here is that there will be no direct ask for survey questions or a first party review. The customer is brought directly to a page that displays the online review links. Again, edit these messages where necessary and make sure you leave this toggle on uh, for both positive and negative landing pages. The customer is allowed to um, go to direct feedback again, which will bring them through that first party review loop um, like we've done before in ultimate mode. It is, is it, it is important to give the customer options for their feedback or review. If someone isn't comfortable leaving an online review, you should be willing to listen to their feedback however they want to give it. And that's why we have the direct feedback option. The negative landing page has a similar experience to ultimate mode. The main difference between ultimate mode and review mode is essentially just removing that survey section. So again, if you're using review mode, make sure to edit all the landing pages here that you see. The last option for request modes is what's called direct mode. This mode is set up for businesses who really just want to acquire more third party reviews. Direct mode is fairly straightforward. The main difference between direct mode and the others is we're not asking for NPS questions here and therefore aren't creating unique messages to customers based on a positive or negative score. So all customers will land on this page, which will give them the option to give direct feedback again or leave a third party review. And you can change the location of the feedback button here so if I, I have it set to top, but if I wanted to move it towards the bottom, I could certainly do that and the online review links show up first. If they choose that give feedback button, the customer will be brought to the private feedback landing page. And again, this looks very similar to ultimate mode. And so they will go through whatever process you have set up here. If they choose direct feedback and give you a lower score, similar to ultimate mode, they'll be brought through that negative feedback loop. Just make sure your settings are completed as well if you're utilizing direct mode. That covers request modes and how to set them up. If you have any further questions on our request modes, you can certainly email our support team at support at gatherup.com.